This is Dan from HDPE Supply, and I'm going to do a quick overview of the IntegraFuse Socket Fusion Welding Set and uh, do a demonstration fuse on how to socket fuse a polyethylene socket fusion coupling. The set that we offer contains five, five sizes, three-quarter inch IPS through two-inch IPS. It includes three-quarter inch IPS heating adapters, one inch IPS, inch and a quarter IPS, inch and a half IPS, and two inch IPS. That's both the male and female sides of the heating adapters. It also includes chamfer tool depth gauges in all five of those sizes, as well as cold ring clamps. Now this set contains two main cold ring clamps, a two inch IPS and an inch and a quarter IPS. In the, for the inch and a half size, it has inch and a half insert sets that lock into these pliers. They have a spring clip that holds them securely in place and they can be removed within seconds using a screwdriver or a car key. And that, that also goes for the one inch IPS and three quarter inch IPS inserts that lock into the jaws of these cold ring clamps. The set includes a two inch capacity pipe cutter as well as an inch and a quarter capacity smaller ratchet style pipe cutter. Um, the set comes with a fork stand for if you're working in a trench. It also includes a bench top um, clamp that allows you to mount it securely to any sort of work surface. It can mount, be mounted in two different directions. The heating iron itself is fully adjustable. It can be set in Celsius or Fahrenheit and it can be adjusted in, in two degree increments. Right now this thing's sitting at about 501 degrees Fahrenheit. It's fluctuating up and down a few degrees at a time maintaining its temperature. The heating iron has a, a fork support in it so that you can set it into this or set it into the fork stand. We also include a cold weather fiberglass heating bag with this set that allows you to quickly set the tool down on something clean and protected. So if you're working in a trench and you've welded your fittings, you can set the tool down next to you on the dirt without setting it into the dirt. You can actually just set it on the fiberglass heating bag. And that's kind of the biggest advantage of having that thing. Um, the set comes with a steel toolbox um, and it comes with a 500 degree temperature um, indicator stick that allows you to verify that your temperature on your heating irons themselves is truly at 500 degrees, which is the welding temperature for most socket fusion uh, fittings and pipes. It comes with a, a small uh, seconds timer. Um, most people don't use this, but we include it. Uh, most people count in their heads. Uh, it's, it's not a, it, it doesn't have to be perfect when you do these welds, you just want to be close to the recommended heating times. So socket fusion welding can socket fuse a variety of fitting types. It can, it can fuse reducers, T's, reducing T's, straight couplings, threaded transitions. For example, this is a socket fusion by brass female pipe threaded transition. This is a socket fusion by male brass pipe threaded transition. And you can also fuse any butt fusion fittings um, up to two inch with this set. Um, a butt fusion fitting basically has a stub of pipe on it that is the same exact diameter and wall thickness as the pipe you're using. So this can be chamfered and welded into any socket fusion T or reducer or coupling. So if you only have a socket fusion tool, you can also use butt fusion fittings with that along, as long as you're welding them into a coupling or a T or a reducer that's socket fusion. This, this for example, is a butt fusion by female threaded stainless steel 316 transition. So this can also be welded using this Integra Fuse welding tool um, as long as you're welding it into a coupling or a T or or something similar to that. Now I'm going to do uh, an example fuse of a inch and a quarter IPS socket fusion coupling to a plain piece of inch and a quarter IPS DR11 pipe. The pipe itself, um, the first step you'll need to do is chamfer the pipe. So you'll take an inch and a quarter IPS chamfer tool depth gauge, slides over the end of the pipe and you rotate it and it peels off a thin ribbon of, of material off the edge and chamfers just the tip of the pipe. You'll set that at full depth, and then you'll clamp your cold ring clamp, which is this pliers, which is a bit, which is which comes with the kit in all five of the sizes. You'll clamp it right up against that chamfer tool depth gauge, and you'll put 
a little bit of tension on it, but nothing significant enough to crush the pipe. You just want to re-round the pipe and set a stop point so that this depth is the insertion depth of not only into the heating adapter on the socket fusion tool, but the insertion depth into the fitting itself. The next step is you're going to clean the pipe end after you've chamfered it and locked it into your cold ring clamp with 91% isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free cloth. That alcohol will evaporate off within a few seconds. And you'll also clean the inside of the fitting itself that you're going to be fusing. For this demonstration, we're doing inch and a quarter IPS SDR11 pipe. And in the socket fusion manual that we supply with this, there is a table that uh, gives you a long list of heating times for, the, for a variety of different sizes. It gives a table for both yellow MDPE pipe and black HDPE pipe. The inch and a quarter IPS black, the heating time is 18 to 20 seconds, and the cooling time after you've pushed the fitting onto the pipe is 60 seconds. So now I have my pipe cleaned, chamfered, and locked in the, in the clamp, as well as the fitting has been cleaned and chamfered. For this demonstration, I'm just going to count that 18 to 20 seconds, and I usually err a little bit on the short side, because if you overheat your pipe, what it tends to do is when you insert it into the fitting itself, it starts to collapse and buckle, and so you, you ba basically your pipe, you want to stick with about 18 seconds. The fitting can handle a little bit more than that. So first, I'm going to start by pushing the coupling onto the male heating adapter. And I'm going to push the coupling on slowly. It'll just start melting as I'm pushing it on. And once I get really close to the stop, the full depth of there, I'm going to insert the pipe. Pipe is much easier to insert than the coupling itself. And then I'll count to that 18 seconds. Pull them straight off, and you'll take your coupling, and you're straight. You want to push it right up against that cold ring, and it'll squish some excess resin between the fitting and the cold ring and make kind of a flat spot. And that's kind of what an inspector is going to want to see. Once I take this clamp off, you'll be able to see the impression that the cold ring makes. That's a way of them being able to tell if you actually used a cold ring or not. It's important to use a cold ring because if you're not using this, the pipe can be out of round and when you insert it, you can over insert it into the fitting or under insert it. But over inserting it will start to make the pipe collapse as it gets inserted too far into the fitting itself. Once you've counted to 60 seconds, you can remove this clamp and I can show you the imprint on the fitting itself. And that's the cold ring imprint of the excess resin. Inside the fitting, that's what it looks like, and that's a perfect weld. Um, once this has cooled down for five minutes or so, uh, you can do anything you want to this. This'll, this is never coming apart. It's a permanent joint. Overall, that's the basics of socket fusion, whether, whether you're using a T or an elbow or a 45 or uh, a threaded transition. All of them weld the same way. So that wraps up the demonstration of the Integrafuse Socket Fusion Welding Tool Set. It's, well, it's capable of welding 3 quarter inch IPS through 2 inch IPS and includes all the tools you need to do any of those five sizes. We include a few extra items with this kit that are not available from the manufacturer. Um, a, a steel toolbox that has enough storage to store additional parts and sizes if you were to expand your set into anything metric or some of the CTS sizes. CTS stands for copper tube size. Um, we include an extra two, two different sizes of ratcheting pipe cutters, a temperature indicator test stick, 500 degrees Fahrenheit, fusion timer, and this entire set is available online at www.hdpesupply.com. If you ever have any questions about it, you can always give us a call or shoot us an email. 
and we're more than happy to help you um, figure out what exactly you're going to want for your project. Thank you.